Hey everybody, it's Jason Blaha here, and I had a question in this Sunday's q and I'll go ahead and link that down below with the timestamp for it for you guys, but I thought it was something I would expound upon a little bit, and it was this whole question about uh, a lot of personal trainers and fitness personalities think that weight loss surgeries like gastric bypass, lap band, things like that are cheating. And I think that's an interesting perspective because I have a really large family on both sides of my family, and so I, I have people who are close to me who've experienced different things uh, regarding weight loss, fitness, things like that. And interestingly enough, two of my aunts, who are sisters on the same side of the family, one of them had gastric bypass surgery and she lost over 100 pounds, who she qualified for it. And then her sister actually kind of feels that it's cheating. Her sister is someone I got involved in weightlifting years ago who took up the whole weightlifting lifestyle. She squats, she deadlifts. She's been doing so for a decade now. And then she started doing like the CrossFit games and everything. It's something that she competes in for fun and enjoys it. She squats over 200 pounds, deadlifts like 250 in her 60s. She lost a bunch of weight through diet, through weightlifting, through training, conditioning work. She doesn't like the fact that her sister did it this other way. However, here's the things that you have to look at. We could argue all day long, and we are right, that it is a willpower issue. A lot of these people do not have the willpower to lose the weight the correct way. So a lot of them simply do not seem to have it. They can't stay consistent with the diet. In fact, I'll go so far as to say as my aunt who had these problems made the worst excuses I've ever heard in my life. The, the one that wasn't as bad that a lot of people make was that she was embarrassed to go to the gym, but then one of the biggest excuses she made is that she can't drink water. And to me, that just blew my mind because she's probably the only mammal on earth who has survived without drinking water that I'm aware of. But she claimed that she can't drink water. And that's another reason it was difficult for her. She just had to have other types of drinks to survive. She couldn't drink water. So she had all sorts of amazingly ridiculous excuses, but she went ahead and got the surgery. And here's the thing that we've got to ask at the end of the day. When we live in a modern world where we have access to modern medicine and procedures, should lack of discipline and lack of willpower be a death sentence because had she stayed 150 pounds overweight she might not be alive with the heart disease and everything that runs in my family for her to walk around at 300 plus pounds would have been a death sentence even though she tried to do diet and exercise and failed repeatedly because of again lack of willpower at all do people need to die as a result of the lack of willpower who actually want to do something they're willing to go through a really invasive surgery pay the money for it it's pretty traumatic in a lot of ways. It's not the most fun situation. So they're willing to pay a different price for it. And when you think about it, even in countries or places like I live where we give the death penalty out, Texas gives a death penalty to more people than any other state in the United States, but we only do so for the most heinous of crimes, like the most extreme of cases. Should lack of discipline and lack of willpower be a death sentence to people? Should we basically let them die? Or should we at least use the technology if they're willing to undergo it? Uh, should we allow it? And I think we should. And people who are saying, well, it's cheating. It's not cheating. It's just not the best approach. It isn't the best approach. Everyone should try to do it through diet and exercise. But for trainers and other people who aren't medical practitioners, I think they need to get off their high horse. We can't be that way when it comes to basically saving lives. You're not a medical doctor. You don't have the right to make a big deal about it and act with distaste when someone who simply lacks the discipline and willpower goes through a surgery instead to achieve the same thing. Is it the best way? No. Would I much rather see them do what my other aunt did and go lift some weights and change your diet to lose 50 pounds or 100 pounds or whatever they need to lose, in some cases 200? Yeah, we would all rather see that. But at the end of the day, people shouldn't have to die due to their lack of discipline when we have the technology to save them. And the same people who will make such a big deal about, oh, it's cheating, blah, 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 are the same trainers and same fitness personalities who oftentimes overly condolude fitness. They make it act like meal timing and your exact heart rate when you do cardio. And they, they create all these really complex training protocols and complex diet protocols that actually make it harder for people who have discipline issues, they're just as much to blame for a lot of people failing who wanted to try because they create such complex ideas that you almost have to hire someone to help you and in reality, you really don't. Fitness is a lot more simple than a lot of these experts and trainers and coaches make it out to be. So they're actually contributing to the problem by convoluting and making fitness more complex than it really is. And then they want to bitch and complain and say that people are cheating when they say, okay, I just can't do this. I'm going to go take uh, the surgery route. You can't have it both ways, guys. 
they need to get off their high horse. And if you really want to help people who are having the discipline issues, you need to be honest about fitness, of how simple it really is. It's not complex the way that people make it out to be. Winning a championship in a sport is complex. Losing 100 pounds is not. All right, guys, but that's really all I have to say on that today. I hope it's been informative, and I will talk to you guys next time.